Imagine you're lost in the middle of a forest. What would you need to survive? Food? Water? A safe place to sleep? Every living thing, whether it's a tiny insect or a giant bear, needs the same basic things to stay alive. That's why animals and plants don't just live anywhere. They live in habitats, which are places that provide everything they need to survive. A habitat is an area where plants and animals live and get their food, water, shelter, and space. Just like people need homes to stay safe and comfortable, animals and plants need habitats that meet their needs. Some animals live in forests, some in deserts, and others in oceans. Each habitat is perfectly suited to the organisms that live there. Think about a pond. A pond is a habitat for frogs, fish, ducks, and even tiny insects. The water provides a place to swim and drink. Plants grow in and around it for food and oxygen. And rocks and mud offer hiding places for safety. Without these things, the animals in the pond wouldn't survive. Now, picture a desert. It's dry, hot, and has very little water. Only certain animals, like camels, lizards, and scorpions, can live there because their bodies are built to handle the heat and dryness. Cacti grow there because they can store water inside their thick stems, allowing them to survive in the extreme heat. Even a city can be a habitat. Birds build nests in trees. Squirrels find food in parks. And raccoons look for shelter in quiet spaces. Animals and plants are great at adapting to their surroundings, finding food and shelter in surprising places. No matter where they are, all habitats provide the same necessities of life. Food, water, shelter, and space. If even one of these things disappears, the plants and animals in that habitat will struggle to survive. That's why protecting habitats is so important. When a habitat is destroyed, the organisms that depend on it are at risk. The next time you step outside, take a look around. Every tree, bush, and puddle is part of a habitat for some kind of living thing. Even the smallest patch of grass can be home to insects, birds, and tiny plants. Habitats are all around us, providing everything living things need to survive. <laughs>